Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Hopag HD PVR. This is a first time setup and I'll be breaking the video into different steps so people who are setting it up for the first time can also understand it just as easy. And um, right now I'm going to quickly take your eyes through the things that you need to set it up. So you're going to need a console, a PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, and any console that's compatible with a component cable. Then you're going to need a component cable. Um, here I have a multi-compatible component cable. And it's, you can use it for the Xbox, Nintendo and the Playstation. And then with the Hophag you get the Hophag itself. USB cable, power cord. And the component cable to connect the TV to the Hophag. You're going to need a computer. And then the last thing you're going to need is a HDTV. In this step you're going to connect a component cable supplied with your hub pack to the back of your TV. There's five pins with the component cable, a green, blue and red for the video and a red and white for the audio. So just look in the back of your TV, it should say component in, if it doesn't it'll say YPBPR which is the letters for component connections. So I'm just going to go right ahead and connect the component cables. So the first colour that comes up on my um, in the back of my TV is uh, green. So I just connect the green to the green part. Then the next one is blue. And then I'll just connect the blue. And then red. And that's the, the video connected. And the last two is for the audio. And the first one is white. Connect the white. And then the last one is red. And that's your component cable. In this step you're going to connect the other end of the component cable into the out section at the back of the hub pack. So the first two is for the audio which is the white and the last three is for the video which is the black. So I'm just going to go right ahead and connect them. So the first one's red, connect the red and the second one is white. That's the audio connected. The first one's green for the videos. The second one's blue. And then the last one is red. And that's a component cable connected to the back of your hot pack. In this step I'm going to connect the component cable for the console into the bottom section at the back of the hot pack. So I'm going to start by connecting the audio and the first one is red. Then the second one is white. And now I'm going to move on to the video and connect the first one which is green. The second one is blue. And then the last one is red. Once you have that done you're going to connect the other end which is the AV multi part into the AV multi um, out of the console. And I'm going to connect mine into my PlayStation. And that's the component cable connected from the console to the hot pack. If you're using the HDMI cable already, please leave that in. Um, because you're going to need the HDMI to change from HDMI to component on the PlayStation. So just leave it in. Okay, so this is the last step. And all you have to do now is connect the USB cable to your hot pack and then to your computer. And then connect the power cord to the power outlet and then to your hot pack. I'm just going to do that real quick now. And then Connect the power to the outlet. And then to the DC socket. Like so. And then all you have to do is switch it on. 
and when you switch it on just leave it on and then we move on to the installation of the software.